sketch the function f of x equals, uh, this is a, a piecewise function, so it equals sine x when x is greater than or equal to pi by 2, and it equals 2x over pi when x is less than pi by 2. So it's a piecewise function, so it's got different rules for different places in the domain. Hence, determine the limit as x approaches pi by 2 from the left-hand side of f of x, and the limit as x approaches pi by 2 from the right-hand of f of x, and then using these results, determine the existence or otherwise of the limit as x approaches pi by 2 of f of x. So we consider it from both sides, and then we evaluate the actual limit using what we've found. <coughs> right, so piecewise function you're calculated that the effective way to do it is to just put different functions in. So if we'll have a, we've got two areas here, we're going to have a y1 and a y2. So if I just open up the graph a bit, what I'm going to do in my y1, it's going to be um, sine x, y1 sine x, and then we use a comma here, so the comma's there, and then you tell it what the domain is for that. So. Um, I use these square brackets that you can see above the plus or minus side, so press shift to get to it. And then we're going to put the interval in here. Now it's x is greater than or equal to pi by 2. So you put pi by 2 as the lower limit, um, pi by 2. And then the way it works, you just put a comma. So you would put the upper limit here, but if the upper limit is uh, infinity, then you just close it off. Um, one thing you can't do is, is sort of distinguish between um, greater than or greater than or equal to. Sadly, you can't do that, but the calculator will give you the, the basic shape of the graph, but what it won't do is interpret mathematics. Um, you, that's your job, unfortunately. So that's that bit. And then uh, just to show you that it's, it's working, if I just well, it's not, not looking great. I think I'm definitely going to have to adjust some things. So firstly, make sure I'm in radian mode. Uh, angle. Yes, we're in radian mode. <clears throat> so then we need to radically adjust the view window. View window. So my X max is probably a bit big, but really it's Y that's the issue. Again, this is sine X, which has a maximum of 1. So I'm going to go up to, say, um, 3 and Y min. Maybe go down to uh, minus three. Minus three, something like that. And if we have a look at this, I might, I'll probably re rein in the uh, x max as well. Don't need to, I'm only need, really interested in pi by two, which is about 1.5. So let's just go up to say three again. Something like that, or maybe a bit more. We'll do another cycle, we'll go up to six. Okay, so now if we have a look, you can see we've got what looks like a sine wave and it's, it cuts off, so this isn't included in its domain, so it looks like it's working. So now if we just go back, and then I'm going to use y2 to define the second bit, which is 2x over pi. Sorry, 2, yeah, 2x over pi. 2x over pi. And again, the comma, and we're going to have a uh, lower limit. Well, we, there is no lower limit, it's minus infinity, so we put nothing and then a comma, and the upper limit is pi by 2. Pi by 2. Okay. Uh, close that bracket off, and then if we go to plot the thing, go back to the draw. And now you can see you've got these two, this two lines. So you've got this uh, linear function here. So this is y equals 2x over pi. Uh, so it's a straight line going through 0, 0 with a gradient of 2 over pi. And then you've got uh, sine x from there onwards. So where they meet must be at pi by 2. So what we can do, we can zero in on that. So if we go to trace and just put in pi by 2, so um, pi over 2, and it tells us that the y value is 1, right? So at x is pi by 2, 
function is 1, so that really sine, sine pi by 2 is 1. Remember, pi by 2 is 90, sine 90 is 1. And if we just look either side, we can start to think about these limits. But before I do that, I'll actually do the sketch. So you have axis like that. We, if we go up to 1 now, 1, and then uh, this can be pi by 2, sort of over here-ish. So I'm looking that bit there. That's the point that where the sine wave starts. Not particularly interested in the rest really, it just sort of goes down and up and off again. And it's just going to go off like that. And then from there, this uh, linear part just goes up like that, right? So that's the function. This is at pi by 2. Okay, and this is f of x. Okay, so that is perfectly good enough to get the marks for the sketch. And then <coughs> we'd need to go on to b, so hence determine the limit, the limb as x approaches pi by 2 from the left hand side. So what we're going to do, if we, we're still on trace, not moving, are we on the trace? I think it's because we've got two lines so it doesn't know what we're tracing. So Okay, so on the left hand side I want to make sure I'm on uh, this line. That one there, and now, now it'll let me trace, okay. Yeah, do be careful. So we defined a piecewise function. What we actually did, we defined two separate functions. So when you ask to trace, it does actually make you specify which line you want to trace. So do, don't fall into the trap I just did. So you look at this, and you can see as we're getting closer and closer to pi by 2, which is 1.57-ish, you can see that we, we're getting towards 1. We could zoom in and do it differently, but you can see it's approaching 1 equals 1. And then if we go from the other side, so the limb as x approaches pi by 2 from the right-hand side, we'll go back to trace, second trace, and then I need to tell it I'm on the blue line. I think I can do that with the up arrows. Yes. And then... Okay, there we go, right? So, if we approach pi by 2 from this side, again, you can see the y values are getting closer to 1. Closer to 1, closer to 1. I want to see the other side there. Okay, also equals 1. So, really, putting all that together, we should be able to see part C. There definitely is a limit. The limb as x approaches pi by 2, f of x equals 1. So it's um, it actually is defined at 1, which isn't crucial for a limit, but it, it is. It is defined at x equals pi by 2, and the value is 1. <coughs> and if you go from either direction, you're getting closer and closer and closer to 1. <coughs>